What do you think about the term starving artist? <laughs> um, I think what I think about it, um, I think every creative is going to go through adversity and not have any way to sustain themselves. That's how I think about it. Um, that the a starving artist is someone that's so passionate about what they that the they are willing to do everything they can to uh, make their art form work, and they're willing to die for it. That's how I can think of it. Have you seen this in yourself? Oh yeah, um, for me. I was 19 years old when I decided, when I hurt my arm from baseball, I decided to go into music. And I worked, and I, I worked a nine to five job, really more like a nine to, a nine, to uh, uh, nine to seven job, that's what it felt like to me. And then from eight o'clock to four o'clock to five o'clock in the morning, I'm making music. I'm producing the record, writing the song, and we're figuring out how to engineer to make the best sound. Seven days a week, my vacations were all about the music and I would always fund my music through the job that I had. So I'm not a starving artist because I had a job, but I killed myself to be, as, to be the best I can be in doing it. Now I look at me being, self, being, being really lucky to have a corporate job that could do that and had the flexibility for that. And I look at artists that don't have that capability. They don't have the technology background. They don't. They're just not wired that way. They're just extremely creative, extremely talented, music, art, wherever it is, and they can't function another way. And, um, and they are doing that 16, 18 hours a day. Um, and they're willing to just eat peanuts just to make a living, just to do that. And I think that that's the, yeah, that's what a starving artist is. And that's, that's the, one of the reasons why I'm, I want to, fix and you know not me but personally i want to bring a community in to help flip that world upside down so they don't become starving artists and i think those are the probably the ones that are uh, the ones that can enlighten people and you said there was a lot of predatory tactics in the music industry do you think because you had a day job you didn't give off the desperation because a lot of predators they sense desperation and they usually go after yeah. people that that they know are weak and that can't fight back you think that you think that you kind of were able to deflect some of that because you had this job no i had i had the des i was desperate too you know because you go so much, you know, I mean, you, I'm working like crazy on it. Um, it's, no, I, I had that same feeling th that of desperation and I signed bad contracts too. And I remember myself just yelling on the phone, you know, to get myself out of the contract because they screwed me. And, uh, and, and then eventually I did get out of it, you know, luckily. But it's, uh, but I've been screwed so many times in, in the music industry. So because, because I was an idiot taking on something that I, because I was desperate for. So, so even though you had a, a, you were able to pay the rent, so to speak, you still got, oh, yeah. there were still sharks. Okay. There were so many sharks for that. Yep. So you decided to leave and put on pause put, put on, on pause. pause that's right put on, put on pause. pause yeah pause. okay so it was on pause and do you think that the most talented artists are the most successful hmm. well let's define success <laughs> um success to me is being happy and and in what you're doing you know if the artist is living in a garage you know, um, and and but still happy where they're living, I would look at that as a success for artists. You know, um, and so um, so to me that that's a that's really just a uh, it's success is a personal question. Why do you think so many artists struggle financially despite their talent? The first of all, I think the medium is it's the medium, right? It's the you know the music, the films, it's anything that's creative. 
outside people don't value it like that, even though they use it every day, right? They, you know, from anything they see visually to the things that they listen to. They listen to the, the music that helps them program their thing or help them do their homework, but they don't want to pay for it. And so if the consumers don't pay for it, that means that um, the artists are not going to be as valued as they should be. But, but that's why they call it a business. You know, it's not just music, it's not just film. It is a film business, it is a music business. And most artists have no interest in business at all. Who wants to actually go into QuickBooks <laughs> or spreadsheets <laughs> and make updates to, to a client uh, it's for a CRM system? You know, who wants to do that? Nobody wants to do it. They want to go in there, make music, be emotional about it, tell a story, go to sleep. You know, and that's what they want to do for a living. Um, I get it. I, I was that guy too. But, but if you want to survive in the financial world, and that's another game, then you got to be good at business. If you're not good at it, then I don't know what to tell you. You know, I, th I think that's, it goes hand in hand if you want to survive in that game financially. Plus, I think, too, it, it helps someone not be taken advantage of. If they just blindly turn everything over to someone, I've heard horror stories of all sorts of stuff happening where they weren't aware. But if you ask questions and you are aware of sort of accounting and different things, then yes. you're less likely. Yes, I, I think that uh, you'll be less taken advantage of. However, business people to business people take advantage of each other too. And so it's, 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 a, it's, it's not about understanding about the business, it's about leverage. Like if you're an artist that has the hit song or hit, hit film, where it is, and then you get all these distributors and agents who want to go after you, they're, they're in advantage. And they could take advantage of the business people because of, the, because of that, you know what I'm saying? And so it's, um, and so I think that, it's so, it's, so yeah, being taken advantage is all about leverage. It's not about knowing more business or what, what it is. It, it, you know, if you're a great artist, if you're in demand, if you're like Whitney Houston, right? Or you're like Mariah Carey or Ariana Grande, they don't need to know anything about business, but they could take advantage of the business people. That's how I kind of look at it. Because they got the goods, because they're the ones that are gonna make a billion dollars for these people. And those people will be desperate for those type of artists that don't come around often. Why is it that artists lack business skills? <laughs> because business is boring. <laughs> It's like a oxymoron, right? It's like the, it's a, um, you know, it's a complete opposite of their nature. Artist is creative, it's a different brain, and business is a different brain. Um, for me speaking, I, I, I never wanted to touch a spreadsheet, you know, or um, even though I'm Asian, I actually suck at math, okay? And so, um, and business is math. You know, and it's it's this it's negotiations. It's um, it's being able to talk almost sometimes non transparently in order to get a deal done. It's a it's a game. It's a war. It's still creative in that sense, but it's not. But in 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 the art in making music or films, you want you know. There's nothing. I mean, you you tell you're writing a script. You're, you know, you, you're, you're telling a story. There's no business interaction. It's so much more fun, right? You get to be emotional with it. Business is business, you know? And, um, and from, my, from my experience that like, um, some artists try to be business people and they just can't be one. And they just don't, they don't practice it enough. Do you think all artists deserve to be paid for their work? 100%. Um, I believe that artists need any great artist, great artist that deserves that that um, that is recognized for their talents should absolutely be doing it for a living. You know, uh, there's no reason they should be, be be a painter when they could, you know, when they could move a fifty thousand people crowd as a musician. There's no reason for that. You know. Um, if you're a filmmaker that could, that, that's, a, you know, another Quentin Tarantino storyteller 
that could impact the world. There's no reason that should be should be waiting tables when they could be changing the world in other way. Um, yeah, so artists has to get artist. The artist needs to survive, and they need and, you know they need to be able to sustain themselves. So yeah, and we want to see those people people out there, right? To do that and inspire people.